It's that time of year again. My second year of computer science at UCL has come to an end. How did it compare to first year? Was it harder? What did we do? Well, in this video, I'll show you a glimpse into my life over the past year. Let's dive into the chaos. Term one, AKA internship season. So these are the modules that we had. First of all, logic. Now this module was a bit long and pretty difficult as well. It was basically theory of computation from year one on steroids. There was also one coursework that we needed to do for this module, which was the theorem prover. It was basically doing tableaus for first order and propositional logic, and we coded that in Python, but it only counted for 10%. Then we had software engineering, which I found a bit boring to be honest, which is ironic because everyone doing CS is supposed to want to go into software engineering. So this module was 100% coursework, and we basically had to build a terminal shell in Java, and we worked in a group of three. We were marked based off if we used the correct design patterns, the best practices, and also if it passed all of the tests. Next, we had computer architecture and concurrency. Now, this module sounded kind of boring, but I actually kind of enjoyed it. We learned about assembly and low-level hardware stuff. And then on the other hand, we learned about concurrency and parallelism in Java. The thing I liked about writing assembly code was you have to think about really, really simple things, even just a for loop. You have loads of different steps that you need to do, which you don't have, for example, in Python or a high level language. It helps me get a better understanding of the inner workings of computers and what actually happens in terms of the instructions and the data. And finally, we have systems or systems engineering. Now, this is a notorious module in our uni and definitely gives PTSD to the older years. It goes on for the full two terms. To describe systems, we're basically assigned a proper client and we're split into groups of four, but in my case, only three of us actually contributed. The other one probably failed. So we go through the whole development life cycle. So from gathering the requirements to then actually coming up with ideas and building a prototype and then finally delivering the end result. So we had a lot of presentations that we needed to do as well. Yeah, it was just a bit long at the beginning. Oh, what else happened? Oh yeah, I moved out. This year I wasn't living in university halls. I moved out with two of my close friends who I've now become even closer to. It's been a mixed experience uh, to say the least. We're still living right next to uni so it's only like a 10 minute walk. We had to worry a bit about bills, the groceries, the cooking, which I didn't really have to worry about in first year. Honestly, there's so many good memories that I'm gonna treasure for years to come. We also started coming into campus more as finally there were more in-person lectures and tutorials. This gave us a proper university feel compared to first year where a lot of it was online. And I finally got to interact more with the rest of my cohort. Whilst I was in America, I also bought an iPad, which has been a complete game changer for me. So I started using handwritten digital notes as well as typed notes on Notion. In terms of events, I was still going to a lot of socials, going out with my friends, Last year, I applied really, really late for internships, so I made sure that this year um, I'd learn from that mistake and start applying as soon as possible. So dressing up at 2 a.m. in a suit for a, a video interview was pretty normal. I basically went with the shotgun approach and applied to as many places as possible and stick around to see which one I actually accepted. Term one was very stressful. Then we finally get to term two, AKA the grind. Now this is when systems started to seriously pop off. Presentations and videos, demos to do, which were pretty cool. We got to demo to Sony, Xbox, Microsoft. Yeah, it was pretty stressful. We had to get stuff working as well. So initial prototypes, and then there were a lot of late nights, blood, sweat and tears. The whole year group kind of bonded through this shared trauma. Overall, I was pretty happy with our end result. This year, we also got to choose one optional module. Me and a couple of my friends, we chose to do robotics because it sounded kind of interesting. The first initial coursework that we had was actually using computer-aided design. We basically had to perform different tasks on these objects, and it was a lot of trial and error just to get the exact placements of the tool. Then we also had the group coursework. We basically had to make uh, a robot which could pick up an object and then move it to another position and then drop it. So that was it. It sounds simple, but we had to code everything from scratch. The maths was pretty difficult and there were complicated formulae for mechanics and lots and lots of matrix multiplications. That exam was actually the worst exam I've ever done in my life, but we move. I'm lucky that there was a lot of coursework. Then we had security. This module had so much potential, but it ended up being pretty dead. 
Now the content itself was okay, it was just very broad, and it was very theoretical. There was no real practical experience with coding. It was mainly just the maths and the theory behind it. So we learned about security principles, attacks, encryption algorithms. This exam was literally a joke. It was just a copy and paste of the coursework that we had, so it was really easy to do. Then there was intermediate maths. I found this module all right. It was basically a harder version of first year maths and stats. We also did a tiny bit of Python coding for numerical methods, which I enjoyed quite a lot. We all really enjoyed the weekly problem classes. They were quite engaging and we could understand the answers. The exam ended up being harder than expected, even though I still did all right. So yeah, that's all the modules. In this term, me and my friend group started playing football quite regularly. So we used to go like once a week. It was really, really fun. Looking back, that's one of the main things that I enjoyed. I also participated in two hackathons, one of which was like a crypto one, and then the other one was at uni, and we actually won. There were three of us, me and two of my friends. We made a cool project where you would basically answer maths questions on screen just using your fingers, and that was a really fun experience, and I felt like I hadn't made a project like that since before uni started. Back to internships, I actually carried on doing assessments and interviews, and I also went to a couple of assessment centers in person too. Term three, exams. At our uni, we only have two terms of teaching and then in the third one, it's just exams. So I had five exams this year, three of which were online and two in person. It was a completely different experience to last year and the exam halls were completely packed. It was like a thousand people in one room. To be honest, I was actually more nervous about missing my alarm and then waking up after the exam. So luckily I managed to wake up and make them on time. There was a period after exams where I, I was just kind of sitting around all day, not being productive at all, just chilling. I also realized that time is going by so quickly. That's when it really hit me that two years of uni have already basically finished. So overall, how did I find this year? Definitely was harder, definitely was more stressful. <laughs> so the older years were right, but it also felt like a proper university year. Just going into campus more and seeing everyone around you, attending all these lectures and events, makes you feel like you've got the proper experience. I also feel like in this specific year, I've grown so much and I realized a lot of things that I need to improve on as well. One other thing, I also transferred from my four year course, which was MEng, to the three year BSc course. So, Basically, I've only got one year left to go, so I really need to make the most of it. And now we're in the summer. So at the beginning, I was lucky enough to go around, travel with my friends and family. So which company did I get an internship at? I actually chose to work at Sky. I just wanted to get a flavor of what it's like to work in a big tech company. But yeah, video on my internship coming soon. I'll try and do like a day in the life or something. So during the summer, I'm gonna try and play a lot of tennis. I'm gonna try and go to a gym and also work on some cool projects as well. If you're new around here, if you haven't watched the video I made on my first year of computer science, then go check it out now. And yeah, I guess I'll see you sometime next year. Love.